Hello guys welcome back to the Fortune TV show YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the 4 reasons Pi could be worth a lot of money in the near future. Before I can continue take this as my piece of advice no matter what, never stay in a place where no one see your value. So, guys, what do you know about this wonderful quote? Now let me remind you about something some pioneers don't think about. So many pioneers are rushing and selling their mined pie coins without realizing what future holds. Remember guys we are currently in enclosed main network, selling pie coins in the means of fiat money is forbidden, and once Picor team found that you're doing so, your account will be burned forever. But if you can still manage to hold your mind pie for a little longer, the future of cryptocurrency will be yours. Now let me tell you a simple story. Once, a father said to his daughter who was just finishing her university studies. A father said my daughter you have graduated with honors at school, here is a car I bought many years ago. It is a bit older now, but before I give it to you, take it to the used car lot downtown and tell them you want to sell it and see how much they offer you for it. The daughter went to the used car lot, returned to her father and said, they offered me $1,000 because they said it looks pretty worn out. The father said, now take it to the pawn shop. The daughter went to the pawn shop, returned to her father and said, the pawn shop offered only $100 because it is an old car. The father asked his daughter to go to a car club now and show them the car. The daughter then took the car to the club, returned and told her father, some people in the club offered $100,000 for it because it's a Holden Torana and it's an iconic car and sought by many collectors. Now the father said this to his daughter, the right place values you the right way, if you are not valued, do not be angry, it means you are in the wrong place. Those who know your value are those who appreciate you. Never stay in a place where no one sees your value. Today, many people see Pi Network Project like it worth nothing, but future of Pi hold almost everything. Guys before I can continue to the price of a single Pi coin and other 4 reasons Pi Network Project could be worth a lot of money in the near future. Guys without any further ado. Just remember to give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe button and smash notification icon for the future video update that we release from this YouTube channel. Now let's jump to the business. But since we are in enclosed main network, barter exchange among Pi Network pioneers is allowed, but here is a small task anyone who is watching this video must complete, to know the circulation of Pi Network coin price per single coin, write in the comment box, the price you're willing to pay or receive for product or services. Now what is the price of Pi coin and what are 4 reasons Pi could be worth a lot of money in the near future? The Pi Network is a brand new cryptocurrency which you can mine on your mobile phone. This is a huge technological leap compared to established cryptos such as Bitcoin, Dogecoin and Ethereum. As of making this video, Pi has reached phase 3 of development, what's called enclosed mainnet, and so it can't be traded, bought or sold. In other words, the value of the Pi network is currently unknown. However, given how much the original cryptocurrency Bitcoin is now worth, there are lots of people trying to predict what the value of Pi will be when it finally hits the market. But a more fundamental question to ask is why will it be worth anything at all? After all, right now Pi is just a mobile phone app. This is the first question I had when I encountered Pi, and I hope in this video I can share with you what I've learned since then and why I believe there's a chance that it could be worth an awful lot more than people realize. And if you haven't heard of Pi before, check out my previous videos I made past few months ago to know Pi first for an introduction to the world's fastest growing cryptocurrency. What is the fundamentals of money? Before we can look at how and why cryptocurrencies are worth real money, we need to go back to basics. We need to understand why the money we use day to day, be it the US dollar, the Great British Pound, the Euro, or another currency, is worth anything. Money is, in essence, anything that is generally accepted as a payment for goods and services. Money needs to be of value in order to be able to do this. In the 19th and early 20th centuries, most nations based their currency on what is called the gold standard. The gold standard monetary system is where gold is used to determine the value of money, because it is widely held that gold has inherent value and this does not fluctuate very much. 
In a gold standard system, you could go to the bank that issued the currency that you owned and exchange it directly for the same amount of gold. In effect, money in a gold standard system is simply an IOU for the equivalent amount of gold and because people see gold as having value, this ensured that money had value. And I thought Fiat was a car manufacturer. Back then in 1971, for reasons I won't cover here but you can find on the internet article, US President Richard Nixon removed the ability to directly convert USD to gold. This in turn removed the ability to convert most other world currencies to gold, as nearly all other currencies were based on the US dollar thanks to the Bretton Woods Agreement. Suddenly, the gold standard was abandoned, and all currencies now became fiat money. The value of fiat money is not upheld by the value of gold or of any other physical material. Fiat, which comes from the Latin word fiat meaning let it be done, is instead a monetary system where the value of money comes directly from a government decree that the money is, in fact, valuable. This is quite a confusing concept, but an answer to this stock exchange question on the topic explains it very well. First, imagine a medieval kingdom. This kingdom has fertile land and is protected from invaders because of the king's wise policies. Thus, many farmers flock there to enjoy its bounty. However, in return for the use of the land, the king demands a yearly payment that can only be made using pieces of paper with the king's face stamped on them. The paper is worthless by itself, but because the chance to farm in this kingdom has value and you can't farm there without some of those papers, the papers gain value. People are willing to trade goods in exchange for these papers because, then they can, take a share of those fertile lands for a year. Indeed, they now use the papers among themselves as a unit of value and even ask for it from outsiders, those who wish to buy goods from those in the fertile kingdom now must obtain the paper its citizens value, which only makes the paper more valuable. In this example, the papers, which are a kind of fiat money, are valuable because you need them to be able to farm in the fertile kingdom. In extension, fiat money is valuable because of the economy in which that money is used. For example, if you wanted to start a company in Britain where you wanted to sell items to or buy items from British customers, you need to deal in GBP. As the British economy is traditionally a strong economy, in the past this has made the pound more valuable compared to some other currencies. This also explains the drop in the value of the pound since Brexit in a no-deal Brexit scenario, companies in the UK would lose the ability to sell to or buy from the EU at competitive rates because of tariffs and other charges. This would make the UK economy a less desirable place to do business, and so fears of a no-deal Brexit push the price of the pound down. And, in the most extreme scenario, if you woke up tomorrow and Britain had ceased to exist, the value of the pound would become nearly zero because the economy in which it is used and the government to which its value is tied would be gone. In general, the value of fiat money comes from the ecosystem in which that money is used. If that is an ecosystem people want to have access to, the value they see in the ecosystem is reflected in the value of the currency. The more desirable an ecosystem is to be a part of, the more the currency is worth. Pi Network, the Pi Currency Ecosystem The ecosystem within which the Pi currency will be used as the medium for exchange is the Pi Network. If you want to tap into the resources of the Pi network, you need to deal in Pi, because that is the only currency that is accepted within the network. So, what is it about the Pi network that would make people want to be part of it? Where does the network's value come from? These are incredibly important to the world's ecosystem. In the Pi white paper, the Pi core team lay out four different methods of capturing value within the Pi network which in turn contribute to the value of the Pi currency. These are The Pi Trust Graph, as explained in my short guide to Pi, one of Pi's main innovations compared with other cryptocurrencies is the creation of a trust graph. This trust graph is the intersection of the security circles of the members of the Pi network, in other words, it gives a picture of who trusts whom across the entire network. It is a way of scaling trust between individuals across the internet, thus allowing for transactions between strangers without a middleman that wouldn't otherwise have been possible. The trust graph is a constantly evolving entity that can change at any time when the members of the Pi network edit their security circles. This means that, if you want to be part of the Pi network, 
it is in your best interests to be as honest and open as possible when dealing with people, otherwise you could be removed from the trust graph and soft locked out of the ecosystem. Knowing who you can trust can be invaluable in today's society, and so the Pi Trust Graph will add immense value to the Pi network and to the Pi currency itself. Monetizing your attention, it is estimated that we now see somewhere between 6,000 and 10,000 ads a day. All of these adverts clamor for our attention, companies pay huge amounts of money to advertise to us, and when we click an ad, we generate revenue that we never see. That doesn't feel quite right to me, and part of the vision of the Pi Network is to upend this unfair dynamic. Pi plans on having an attention marketplace, where companies can buy for your attention but only if they reimburse you with Pi. In the same way that companies pay for ads on television channels, pay for their products to be sponsored on Amazon or pay for Google Ads to come top of your search list, the audience provided by the Pi Network will be another resource these companies want to tap into. To do this they will need to spend Pi, which will go directly to the people who watch the ads, thus increasing the value of the currency. And the larger the Pi Network, the larger the audience and therefore the more valuable those ads and the Pi currency will be. Sell your stuff straight from the Pi app. Another way to generate value within the Pi Network will be to allow members to set up their own virtual storefront directly within the Pi app. This will create a marketplace where people can sell both physical goods as well as skills and services directly to other Pi Network members, all paid for exclusively in Pi. The addition of the trust graph will add security to this marketplace because if a trader wants to be able to sell, they will naturally need to have a good position in the trust graph. I imagine this will be like the ratings on eBay, except there will not be a huge intermediary making money from the marketplace transactions. Instead, the rating of a store will be captured in the native trust layer that is the trust graph. And just like with eBay, Amazon and any online marketplace, the larger it is and the more widely it is used, the more valuable it will be for people to have a stake in it. Which, in turn, will increase the value of Pi. A new DAP store, the Pi Network and blockchain will also allow the development of decentralized applications, or DAPs. A DAP is an application that runs on a distributed computer system rather than on a single server like a traditional application. For Pi and other cryptocurrencies, DAPs piggyback the computing power that is used to update the blockchain or distributed ledger that contains a record of all transactions of that crypto. The Pi network will allow developers to write decentralized applications that tap directly into an already established community. This DAP store is another way to add value to the Pi network, as it will turn the network into a cross-platform, meaning it will run on both Apple iOS and Google Android app ecosystem that companies and developers will want access to. As always, the larger the network, the more valuable it will be for developers to have access to it, and the more valuable Pi will be as a result. Very confused. Crypto what? The question of why cryptocurrencies are actually worth anything is definitely a bit of a headache for those who aren't invested in the technology. Bitcoin, for example, has value purely based on the fact that it was the very first cryptocurrency and investors saw potential in it. There is no value added to the Bitcoin ecosystem apart from that. But with Pi, there is real and tangible value in having a huge network of people to tap into, which is backed by the Pi Trust Graph to ensure that everyone plays fair. And guys I hope this was enough for today's video, if you want to be part of this economic revolution and capture some of the value of Pi for yourself, you can start mining for free by going to minepi.com slash and using the referral code Aloysmet.